Okay, well, it's becoming commonplace, unfortunately, in coaching with that win at all cost approach, but some trying to change that. Uh, Jeannie Garcia with the Positive Coaching Alliance and Dr. Elizabeth Ignacio are joining us more on that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. This, is, this is such a great organization, and I know more and more people are becoming familiar with it because, uh, because it's across the nation and, of course, here in Hawaii. Uh, explain to people um, what the mission is because you really at this point are having an impact on millions of young athletes already. We are. We're, uh, we're, we're very proud of the fact that we're uh, making a huge impact, especially here in Hawaii. We work with uh, all the high schools. We are really living up to the motto of better athletes, better people. And so we're excited uh, to uh, be spreading the word more on uh, the news this morning. You know, and we, we mentioned in the tease that some 70%, I think one of the statistics was 70% of kids just fall out of sports because they're just not having a good time for one reason or other. And this is really the type of statistic, the type of um, what you're seeing that is motivated you to change. Absolutely. And so that statistic is so true uh, across the country. 70% of kids are dropping out of sports by the time they're 13 years old. And we want kids to stay in sports and to, and to be able to learn life lessons and learn all kinds of things through being in sports. And that's why Dr. Elizabeth Ignacio is here with me as well, because she truly understands as an orthopedic surgeon uh, how important it is for kids to participate. And what's, so, uh, what's coming up is the the Breakfast of Champions Breakfast. with Dr. Dave Shoji, um, a special recognition for him. And, and speaking of coaches who are having a pot of positive influence, you've worked with him a lot, so you've had a chance to see that. Yes, I, I've been blessed with the privilege of being the uh, one of the volunteer physicians for Wahine Volleyball. So for many years, I've uh, worked closely with uh, uh, Wahine Volleyball and specifically Dave Shoji. He is the shining, iconic example of a double goal coach where, of course, he's going to uh, foster and expect excellence from his athletes, but then also challenge them relative to the life lessons of, of resilience and, and perseverance in adversity. And young athletes, they, they really respond to that, don't they? Absolutely. You know, I've been in a locker room with him where he talks to them, not only to motivate them to do well between the second and third set, but he also brings up the fact that keep up your grades, sportsmanship, um, and again, that persever perseverance uh, through adversity. So the, uh, the Breakfast with Dave that's coming up uh, on Friday, June 19th, really important too for, for kids. There's a contest that you guys have. They can write in. Yes, there's a contest. We're looking for Dave's biggest fan. And so Dave's biggest fan, if you think you are Dave's biggest fan, please write and let us know in a short paragraph why you think you are Dave's biggest fan. We're excited about the contest and excited to uh, get that information out. Uh, we're also excited that EMUA Orthopedic Sports right. and Health is our presenting sponsor for this amazing uh, coach recognition event. And again, that's coming up on June 19th at the Wildlife Country Club, 8 to 10 a.m. Get a chance to meet Dave. He's kind of a popular guy around here. I would yeah, say. Yeah, I so. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, great, you guys, for, for the, all, all you're doing for the community. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.